Hi everyone, thanks very much for joining me. So June so far has been a pretty crazy month for me in terms of movies. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you'll have maybe seen some of my previous videos uh, where I've been showing DVD hauls and Blu-ray hauls. Uh, so I found loads lately from uh, various thrift stores. Uh, but also just this last weekend, I went to a huge community event, uh, a huge yard sale event, uh, and picked up 50 movies from there. Um, so I will be doing another video, uh, probably in two parts, just to show everything that I got from that. A lot of movies, uh, a complete range of uh, genres. Um, so yeah, I'll be excited to show those ones to you. Um, but apart from that as well, I now have what I can do as an unboxing video. Pretty rare for me to be able to do these because I do find most of my movies through uh, thrift stores. Uh, but occasionally, yeah, I buy stuff as well, obviously, from... Uh, um, the boutique labels and things. So what I've got here is um, the Canadian distributor Unobstructed View, uh, who uh, are the official um, seller of Criterion uh, collection products here in Canada. Um, they also sell a whole range of other uh, boutique labels, including Kino Lorber. And so last month they had a Kino Lorber sale. Um, and so I picked up a number of titles from that sale. Um, there should be 11 movies in here. Uh, I actually ordered 12, but I think uh, in terms of shipping, maybe one has been delayed um, or not available at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've ripped off the label, but here's the box. I haven't opened it yet. So this is a this is a thing on YouTube where people open boxes. So why not? I'll do it as well. Um, so here's my little Stanley knife. Let's open this up. Pretty simple and easy. I always think with boxes like this, uh, uh, compared to maybe some of the Amazon boxes that you sometimes receive, uh, it just looks a little small and you sort of think, can all the movies actually be in here? But um, let's find out. And do it in a way so I'm not actually cutting the movies. Okay, we are open, how exciting. Put the knife down. Right, I shall remove the packing slip. And let's get into this and I'll show you what I've got. So, first up, I've got a Blu-ray here, which is Moment to Moment. Um, and this is a movie that stars uh, yeah, Gene Seberg and Honor Blackman, uh, directed by Mervyn Leroy. Um, it's meant to be a sort of comedy melodrama about a woman who uh, thinks that she's murdered her lover um, and then finds out that that's not the case. Uh, it's not one that I've seen before, uh, but yeah, with the cast of Jean Seberg, I, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd like to see this one. Um, so yeah, uh, Jean Seberg, Honor Blackman, directed by Mervyn Leroy. Next, I have Camille Claudel, uh, which stars Isabella Gianni and uh, Gérard Depardieu. Uh, so this is based on a sort of true life events with um, Isabella Gianni playing Camille Claudel, who was the mistress of uh, Auguste Rodin, uh, the famous sculptor who did the thinker. Um, so yeah, played by Gérard Depardieu. Um, so yeah, with, with Camille Claudel, she, she had a sort of sculpting life of her own, but was always kind of a bit in the shadow of Rodin. And uh, I think there were issues with her uh, being able to sell her work and she had a sort of mental decline as well in later years. So yeah, this is a movie I've wanted to watch again. I've, I saw this years ago. Uh, and remember really liking Isabella Gianni's performance in this. So yeah, I just want to see it again. Um, Isabella Gianni certainly plays some pretty uh, um, strong roles at times or very noteworthy roles. She was in um, Possession and uh, the story of Adele H and um, the remake of Nosferatu. Ah, next I have this one, which is Legend of the Mountain, uh, directed by King Hu. 
1979. Um, now, just recently, I saw another King Who movie, also from 1979, called Raining on the Mountain. So, a very similar title, uh, very beautiful. Uh, King Who uh, movies are very slow paced uh, but uh, quite beautiful works of art. Um, now I've seen before Come Drink With Me, that was the first King Who film I saw, um, but certainly in the Criterion Collection perhaps if you are interested in that, then he has a, a Dragon Inn and A Touch of Zen, those are two uh, very famous works. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing this one. Um, I don't know if he'll be watching this, but uh, a kind of friend of the channel if you like, Roger Kirby, he's um, uh, certainly a big fan of King Who and I think if I if I'm correct he's seen all of King Who's films so uh, yeah go and check his channel out for more discussion on King Who but uh, yeah I look forward to seeing this one I've not seen this one before but I did really like Raining on the Mountain so uh, I will check this one out uh -huh. next another one I haven't seen before but it's a, a classic the Sicilian clan uh, with a great cast of um, Jean-Paul, no, sorry, just got to correct myself there. So the Sicilian clan um, starring Jean Gabin, not Jean-Paul Belmondo, um, Alain Delon and Lino Ventura. Uh, so yeah, sort of mobster movie. Um, so yeah, I know this is a, a really famous one from 1969. Um, cinematographer on this is Henri Decay, who did a work for uh, Jean-Pierre Melville, uh, including Le Cercle Rouge and uh, Le Samurai. Um, so I'm sure this one looks good uh, and it also has a score by Ennio Morricone. Um, so yeah, great stuff, the Sicilian clan. Next, I kind of got this one as a little bit of a filler. Um, this was, uh, this, you often see this one in Kino Lauber's bargain bins. So this one kind of made up the value really for me to be able to get the free postage. Um, but yeah, this is uh, also with Alain Delon and uh, Centerberger, I think it is. Uh, yes, Centerberger. Um, and this was the final film of uh, Julien Duvivier, um, who directed the film Panique, which is in the Criterion Collection. Um, so yeah, I've not seen this one before, but uh, yeah, I look forward to checking it out. Next, glad to now have this one, uh, And Hope to Die. This one sounds very interesting. Uh, directed by René Clément, um, who did such great films as uh, Forbidden Games in 1952, Les Jeux Interdits, um, and Purple Noon uh, with Alain Delon, which was the... Um, Patricia Highsmith adaptation, uh, the Tom Ripley character. Uh, but yeah, this one sounds interesting. A really uh, diverse cast here. We've got uh, Jean-Louis Trintignant, Robert Ryan and Aldo Ray in this film, uh, which I think involves uh, a crook on the run who meets up with a, a sort of criminal gang uh, to then uh, get involved in doing a kidnapping that goes wrong. All sounds very interesting. Um, so yeah, definitely look forward to seeing this one and hope to die. Next is this film from 1964, and it's called The System. Uh, I think it's also known as The Girl Getters. Um, now, this one's directed by Michael Winner, uh, and it stars Oliver Reed. Uh, oftentimes, Michael Winner wouldn't be uh, something that I would rush toward, uh, but Michael Winner also directed with Oliver Reed the film Hannibal Brooks, which I definitely uh, get a lot of enjoyment out of that film. Uh, but this film came before it, The System. Um, I've not seen it, but it's uh, sort of set in a seaside resort with Oliver Reed playing a, a tourist photographer who has a system of being able to sort of um, get girls' numbers and have sexual relationships with them. Um, so yeah, meant to be a bit of a comedy, but um, uh, yeah, I'll find out what it's like, but uh, definitely, like I say, I, I really enjoy Hannibal Brooks um, and Oliver Reed's performance in that. Um, so yeah, hopefully this partnership uh, in the system works well as well. So yeah, I shall see. 
So next is this one from 1953, and it's directed by Carol Reed, who did The Third Man and uh, The Fallen Idol. Um, you know, really great movies, but uh, I've not heard of this one, The Man Between. I've not seen it before. Um, so, and yeah, also Carol Reed has worked with James Mason before in uh, Odd Man Out. Um, so that was a few years before uh, this one. Sorry, my box is falling over. Um, but uh, yeah, so I look forward to seeing this. I think this is set in uh, Berlin post World War Two, and involves uh, some kind of uh, kidnapping plot. Um, so yeah, very interested to see this one, the man between. Uh, next we have Electra Glide in Blue from 1973, uh, and this one stars Robert Blake, uh, who plays a sort of um, short, diminutive uh, Arizona motorcycle cop. Um, who wants to further his career and gets involved in doing a, a sort of murder investigation uh, of what to, was reported as a suicide but he thinks is a murder. Um, so yeah, this is a movie that I've wanted to watch again uh, and I've been able to find out the exact date I first watched it, which was 15th of May 1988. Um, and the reason I know that is because uh, this was one of the first films that Alex Cox presented on his uh, BBC late night show Movie Drome. Um, that was a great running series that ran from the late 80s uh, into the 90s, um, where Alex Cox was obviously the uh, uh, sort of cult independent movie director of films such as Repo Man. Um, uh, but yeah, he had a great series where he was just uh, doing these uh, sort of introductions to um, all different kinds of um, unknown movies if you like um, and it was really really uh, great to have that series I wish it would uh, still continue um, but yeah this was one of the first ones that he presented and uh, I just remember watching it although, although I don't remember too much of the film now what I do really remember is the final uh, shot um, which I won't sort of spoil for anybody who hasn't seen it but uh, that final shot has just stuck in my mind all these years the cinematographer on this is uh, Conrad Hall um, the great cinematographer who also worked on films such as um, American Beauty and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and uh, Marathon Man um, so yeah I look forward to seeing this one again it's been a long time <laughs> Throw away the paper. Okay, and then finally I've got two here from director Francois Truffaut. So I've got this one, Mississippi Mermaid, that's got uh, Jean-Paul Belmondo and Catherine Deneuve in it. I've not seen this one before. Um, Belmondo playing a sort of plantation owner who uh, gets involved with a, a mystery woman. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this is like. Um, now this one, as well as the next one I'll be showing, and they're from stories by an uh, author called Cornell Woolrich. Um, and Cornell Woolrich also wrote um, the short story uh, of Rear Window, which was then made by uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing this one as well as this one, The Bride in Black, uh, which has got Jean Moreau. So this one also directed by Francois Truffaut, also uh, from a novel by Cornell Woolrich. Um, and this is a kind of revenge uh, story, I believe. Um, so yeah, this one's a, a classic, but I've just not seen it. So, uh, um, and I'm sure many of you know, this has come out in various different iterations recently. I think um, one of the other boutique labels has put out a very nice edition of it as well. I forget which one off the top of my head. Uh, but I've plumped for this one from Kino Lorber. Um, so there you go, those are my pickups from uh, the Kino Lorber sale that was done through Unobstructed View. So yeah, if you're Canadian, um, then definitely keep an eye out for unobstructedview.com because uh, like I say, I haven't got any affiliation with them, but uh, like I say, they're just um, uh, the seller of uh, a lot of boutique labels here in Canada. So um, those will include Kino Lorber, uh, Criterion Collection, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Film Movement, um, yeah, lots of others, uh, Screen Factory, Shout Factory, those ones, Arrow. <laughs> 
the list goes on. Uh, so yeah, look up their site if you are Canadian and want to order stuff from them. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So like I say, do come back. Please like, subscribe uh, and come back for more because I will certainly be showing some very interesting titles uh, in my haul videos that will be coming up soon from what I found at the uh, yard sales. So yeah, hopefully I will see you again. Thanks very much for joining me. All the best. Bye-bye.